Hey guys, today we are reviewing the specifications for my PC and making some hardware upgrades to prepare it for the install of the security camera video monitoring and recording software Blue Iris. We'll chat about the recommended specifications to run the software, check out my PC's hardware, and add a couple of new hard drives to manage and store the footage. Yes, two new hard drives, and one of which is high performance. As you may know, Blue Iris allows you to turn your PC into a powerful video surveillance system manager. This software can be very resource intensive, but with the right setup and Blue Iris configuration, we can avoid performance issues. Today is all about the hardware setup. In my next video, we'll install Blue Iris and walk through the optimal performance settings and run some tests and show the impacts on the system. Very quickly, I like Blue Iris because it supports a huge list of network IP cameras. If your camera isn't listed, Blue Iris works with ONVIF protocol. This is a standard communication form for IP based security products. Blue Iris has an awesome user interface, making it super easy to use, and playing back footage to find events is very fast. I also like the advanced features, which give me more control of my surveillance system. Anyways, let's talk about hardware. Blue Iris provides a list of minimum and recommended specs for your PC setup. The software will work with these minimum requirements, but obviously it would be better with the recommended setup, especially when you increase your number of cameras and their resolutions. Blue Iris suggests an Intel i7 CPU with QuickSync. More on QuickSync to come shortly. At least 8 gigs of RAM. This is a good amount. You could probably get away with 4 and increase it later if it isn't enough. The 64-bit version of Windows 10. They recommend you use a graphics card instead of the graphics port on your motherboard, especially if you want 4K quality. This will help take a load off the CPU. Lastly, a mechanical hard drive spinning at 7200 RPMs or more and or an SSD. The SSD would be for Blue Iris's database and recording all of that live data coming into the system. The mechanical drive would be for storing or use as temporary archive. Given these recommended specs, you could pay about $700 US without the mechanical hard drive, which would be an additional $100 plus $70 for Blue Iris, and that would bring you to about $870. If this is out of your budget, the first thing I would cut is the graphics card, which would save you a couple hundred dollars. Next, we're going to meet my PC, which will be used as my network video recorder. It's a couple of years old, and today it would cost about $1,200 US. It's definitely beefier than what Blue Iris recommends, so let's take a look and see what's inside. We have an ASUS Maximus 8 Z170 motherboard. It supports the high-performance NVMe M.2 drives, which I'll be installing one of here shortly. Under this Corsair liquid CPU cooler, model H100i, we have an Intel i7 6700K 4 GHz processor. It supports quick sync, which will help with hardware acceleration and lowering CPU utilization. To check to see if your processor supports quick sync, go to the link in the description, find your processor, and look for this specification. Later, when we are optimizing Blue Iris, we'll allow the program to take advantage of this feature. And moving right along, we have two sticks of 16 gigabytes of 3200 SD RAM, totaling 32 gigs. For a video card, there is an ASUS RX470 4GB card installed. An 850 watt EVGA Gold Semi Modular power supply. The hard drive where I have Windows installed is actually mounted here on the back of the case. It's a 500 gigabyte Samsung 850 EVO SSD. It has a brand new install of Windows 10 and is ready to go. And as you can tell, there are no other hard drives installed. I will be installing two drives to record my footage from Blue Iris. The first drive will be a high performance M.2 NVMe drive to store the new footage. As the camera's live feed is continuously coming into the PC, the machine needs to be constantly saving it and writing it to the drive. I found that in the past that my mechanical drive would reach 100% utilization and I would lose data. This high performance drive should help solve that problem. After about a day or when the drive is almost full, I want that new footage to move to another drive for storage or archiving for a couple of weeks. I've selected an eight terabyte 
Western Digital Purple Drive. I can access the footage from here until this drive is full or until a certain time frame is reached. At that point, I will tell Blue Iris to delete the data. Let's get the NVMe drive installed first. When installing these drives, they often share components with SATA drive connectors. Have a look at your motherboard's manual. For me, the first two slots become inactive once a SATA NVMe drive is installed. This means that these two SATA connections are not going to work. I have nothing plugged in here anyways, but it's good to know. My first step is to install a stanchion onto my motherboard on which the new drive will sit. Next, I'll insert the stick and press it down while I fasten the screw and secure it into place. When I turn on the PC and open Windows Explorer, the drive is not visible. It needs to be formatted and assigned a drive letter. So let's pop open Disk Management and get that taken care of. You can see that the new drive shows up. Let's get it formatted. I'll call it New Footage. Okay, perfect, and you can see that it just popped up in Windows Explorer. Time to add the purple drive. This edition will be pretty straightforward. I slide the drive into the slot, and I'll swing around the back of the computer to plug in the power and the SATA cable. It looks good, lots of airflow and space around the drive. Let's jump back into the PC. Here in Windows Explorer, the 8TB drive doesn't show. So when we open up Disk Management again, we'll find it. We'll format it and call this one Footage. And now you'll see a pop-up here as a usable drive. Alright guys, my super fast NVMe drive and storage drive are installed, formatted and ready to use. In my next video, we're going to be installing Blue Iris, setting up the application for first time use and adding cameras of various brands. I'll also show you a handful of performance tricks to make your machine run as efficiently as possible. Here is a little early insight. I have 11 cameras streaming a total of 32 megs, recording continuously at 15 frames per second and my disk utilization is 1% and my CPU is at 10% because I'm using the right hardware and I've performance tuned Blue Iris. Thanks for letting me share Blue Iris's recommended specifications and the details of my dedicated PC for managing my surveillance system. Links for my PC build or comparable parts are in the description below along with a link for Blue Iris if you want to try out their 15 day trial or pick up a license key. As always, I hope that you found this information helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching.